What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off what I consider to be the best way to play the new Colossal VMAX from Vivid Voltage. Let's check it out. Colossal VMAX is an absolute house of a Pokemon, clocking in at 330 HP. It's also got two great attacks. Its first attack, Eruption Shot for one fighting energy, deals 40 damage, and you discard the top card of your deck. And if that card is an energy card, it does 90 more damage, and you get to attach that card to this Pokemon. So Colossal VMAX deals 130 damage for just one energy, and to help ensure that that top card of your deck is always an energy card, we do play three copies of Primate Wisdom Oranguru. And Oranguru is quickly becoming one of my favorite cards in standard format. Its Primate Wisdom ability allows you to switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. So you're going to take an energy card, put it onto the top of your deck, and then get to accelerate it onto Colossal VMAX with its Eruption Shot attack, which conveniently one-hit KOs to Dene GX and Crobat V, which are very popular in the Pokemon trading card game right now and worth two prizes. So you're always going to have the opportunity to take cheap shots on your opponent's bench with Eruption Shot while you build up to a a huge G Max Boulder attack for three fighting and a colorless. It deals 240 damage, easily one hit KOing Zacian V and other basic V Pokemon. It's a very powerful attack, great for finishing off V Max Pokemon that you might have weakened with Eruption Shot as well. This one two punch is very strong on the Colossal V Max. Now, in order to ensure that we always have an option to gust up a Dedenne or a Crobat, we play three copies of Boss's Orders as well as an Eldegoss V with the happy match of ability, which allows you to bring a supporter card back from your discard pile to your hand. So plenty of gusting options. I have considered a great catcher in here because of how good it is to target down to Dene GXs with that eruption shot attack. So definitely gust is a priority in this list. And as you can see, we play a very aggressive draw engine as well. Two copies of Dedenne GX and one Crobat V means that we're going to be churning through our deck and finding game-winning cards on the turn that we need them. And that's something that I found is essential with a Colossal VMAX deck in a format with Reset Stamp and Marnie. You're constantly getting your hand reset to four cards with Marnie. Obviously, we play four copies of Marnie because we love to set our opponent's hand to just four cards and slug away with Colossal VMAX, but having the aggressive draw cards in the deck is fantastic. And since Colossal VMAX accelerates to itself with Eruption Shot, we get to do a lot of cool things with that extra energy. First of all, we play a copy of Galarian Surfetched V with the Resolute Spear ability, which allows you to move all fighting energy that you want to from your board onto the Galarian Surfetched V when it switches from the bench into the active position. And its Meteor Smash attack is pretty good as well, deals 200 damage and can help you hit through Zamazenta V's ability, Dauntless Shield, which keeps you from damaging it with your VMAX Pokemon. So we definitely like having Galarian Surfetched V in the deck. We also play four copies of Crushing Hand Hammer in this list. Crushing Hammer is just one of the best cards in the Pokemon trading card game right now. It's great against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia. It's great against Eternatus VMAX. It's good against just about everything. And the reason why it's so good in this deck is because Crushing Hammer can buy you essential turns to build up energy on your Colossal VMAX. Eruption Shot accelerates an energy. You can attach an energy from hand for turn. If you can buy yourself an extra turn with Crushing Hammers early on in the game, especially against Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia, means that you're going to be announcing G Max Boulder before your opponent is really ready to deal with it. And that is just a game winning strategy in this deck. Speaking of buying turns, Hyper Potion is also fantastic in this deck since you can glance off hits from your opponent's Pokemon, especially when combined with Stone Fighting Energy. We got four copies of the new Stone Fighting Energy in this deck, which decreases damage dealt to the fighting Pokemon it's attached to by 20 in its stack. So if you've got two Stone Fighting Energy on your Colossal VMAX, it's taking 40 less damage from attacks. If you got three, it's taking 64. It's taking 80 less damage from attacks. Combine that with the healing power of Hyper Potion. We've got a very formidable tank deck on our hands that's also aggressive and can easily one-hit KO to Denny's and Crobats and Zacians once we build up that G-Max Boulder attack. Hyper Potion allows you to heal 120 damage from a Pokemon, but you do have to discard two energy from that Pokemon when you do. And fortunately, Eruption Shot does accelerate extra energy to the Colossal VMAX, so you'll find yourself having extra energy on Colossal 
quite a bit and you can sack two of those energies and just go in an eruption shot again which buys you more turns and every turn that you buy yourself with the colossal v max deck is a turn closer you get to winning the game so three copies of hyper potion has been very good in the deck especially when combined with recycle energy since you can discard the recycle energy with the hyper potion and it comes back to your hand recycle energy is also great just because it helps fulfill the attack requirement of G-Max Boulder, which does have one colorless attack cost in it. And if a Colossal V-Max does get knocked out and it has a Recycle Energy attached to it, that Recycle Energy is going to come back to your hand and you can use that Recycle Energy to stack on top of your deck for a backup Colossal V-Max to use Eruption Shot on the following turn. It just helps you to stream your energy attachments and your energies that you need for Primate Wisdom in order to Eruption Shot throughout the game for a consistent 130 damage. And that's it for the list. This list is very straightforward, very consistent, hard hitting, and I love it. This deck is a lot of fun to play and a powerhouse in the Pokemon trading card game right now. So check it out in the gameplay and let me know what do you think of Colossal VMAX in the comments below. I really think that we're on the right track with this Colossal list, I do. Uh, it feels right. I think that you know, it's just, uh, you just want to play it consistent. You want to get the turn two attack every game. You want to slow your ADP opponents down. Cards like Crushing Hammer. So, there we go. So, we got two hammers in the opening hand. We'd love to see that because, you know, ADP is going to get that energy down. And then we're going to try to slow the deck down, especially since they did have to research or day to change a saucer turn one. So... Hopefully we can connect on one of these hammers. That'd be great. We'll see what we can do. Yep, sure enough, we're good at this game. Love it. So I think I want to go... Honestly... It's a little bit... Risky. No, 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 it's not risky. Yeah, we just go here. I love this. Okay, so we go there. Put the energy down. And a Primate Wisdom. And a Crushing Hammer. This is like... So sick, right? And then we just research. And then I've got the hammer on the other side. Ready to go for next turn. Now I know that my opponent plays Marnie because they've discarded one. So we do want to look out for that if we can. I think I want to Primate Wisdom the Marnie just in case. We've got another fighting, which is good. And then we're going to just pass. And then next turn I do have the turn two attack with Eruption Shot. And we've got... Another hammer ready to go, so this ADP deck is going to try to, you know, whip up the altered creation. If they go saucer, they have to waste their second saucer, right, to do that. If I can hit a hammer on the water energy, that would be big for us. Mutzerl says, every time I hit a hammer and say that I'm good at this game, it makes you laugh. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the state of the game right now. Yeah. Jake says, every time you hammer an energy off of ADP, an angel gets its wings. Yes, I also agree with that, which is why, why we're playing four hammers, right? We're just giving lots of angels their wings today, chat. Dave says, flipping heads on anything is how we prove that we're good. True. True. Any truers, chat? Yeah. That's how you prove you're really good at Pokemon cards. It's flipping heads on Crushing Hammer. That's what I'm trying. I've been saying this for years. Glad you guys are all on board. <laughs> with that now speaking of hammers we got we hammers with the sub in the chat appreciate you we hammers with that prime sub let's go uh we've got a colossal v max certainly like that and then we're going to push this energy along just to guarantee that we're going to get it and i honestly don't mind just researching here i think just being aggressive, getting another Colossal set up would be probably in our best interest. We do miss an energy drop, which is sad. But uh, we're still in a good spot. So I think we're just going to go here, get ourselves another Colossal ready to go. I could have Day-Day changed. I mean, then we'd be doing... Yeah, I could have Day-Day changed, but I think... Hopefully we just find another energy here. Nope. All right. So we'll just go there, eruption shot. Really would have liked to get the manual attachment 
because that would have really, you know, threatening a G-Max Boulder for 240 damage next turn would have been really big. Now they are going to get the Alter Creation. They've got two hammers left in the deck. I'm swinging into the ADP again. That's totally fine. They're going to try and stall, but I've just got the switch in my hand, so it's no problem. Just get that guy evolved up, and then we're just going to switch to Rangaroo and Research. Okay. We've only won energy again. Oh, which is tough. Okay. We do have Boss in our hand finally, though. I feel like two Colossals is as many as we would potentially need. I don't think that we would need any more than that. I don't want to give up any cheap prizes, though. So I think I'm just going to grab that. We only got one hammer left in the deck. That's fine. So the hope is we can Primate Wisdom into an energy. We do not. So looks like we're just going with the eruption shot again, which is annoying because I've I've missed the double energy now two turns in a row, which is tough. But fortunately, my opponent is not having the fastest game with ADP. So, you know, they may go Ultimate Ray into Colossal VMAX this turn. If they do that, I can Hyper Potion, and I think that will keep us out of range, which would be sick. Now my opponent's like totally benched out too, which I do like to see. And the boss's orders are going to be key to us winning this game. I think this next turn I'm going to, you know, try to hyper potion, knock out the ADP, assuming that they have to ultimate ray, right? Yeah. So it looks like they have to ultimate ray. They're going to have to research away this hand. Ultimate ray. And then I'm looking at eruption shot. And you imagine like how good of a spot we would have been in, right? If I had been able to actually uh if i had been able to hit my energies just right so i think here we just want to keep the boss's orders like keep those alive i mean really it, does, it doesn't matter at this point i can bench another orangaroo so i do want a marnie i want a primate wisdom The boss seems okay. We find it to Denny. I'm gonna hyper potion the active for sure. Heal that up. Now they're gonna be dealing 260 damage. They're gonna be dealing 260 damage to this thing. 260 minus 20 is 240. 240 plus 40 is not a knockout. So I do want to attach this energy. I think I can afford to just attach it to the active. Uh, oh, I don't even need to Eruption Shot an Energy away, so that's amazing. Yeah, we could just Eruption Shot with no bonus if we want to. So we're going to go there, and then we're just going to Marnie. And then I know I've got the boss's orders on the other side. So we've got that, and we've got Energy here now. So I can Accelerate, which we're definitely going to do. So we're going to Primate Wisdom, I think, the Recycle Energy, which seems really good. And we've got a Hammer, which is also fantastic. All right, Tails, no problem. Then we just go Eruption Shot, take the knockout. And now all we have to do is boss, boss game. We do have boss's orders in our hand, energy. We have everything that we need in order to boss, boss game at this point. So this is really, I think, the ideal execution of our game plan against ADP. We got, we've only hit one of our three crushing hammers so far, but that one crushing hammer was enough to slow ADP down multiple turns, right? And that's, uh, or not even multiple turns, just one turn. I mean, just getting yourself that one turn against ADP is so huge. And then the Hyper Potion gained us another turn. So with the Hammer gained us one turn, Hyper Potion gained us a second turn. And now we're in a position where we've taken our three prizes. They can't one hit KO the Colossal that we have. Now, this is obviously tough because I got played out of my boss's orders. I could have stacked it again. No, I couldn't have because I was about to Primate Wisdom, so we could not have done that. But at this point, I can just Day-Day change. So that's fine. And I think we're going to switch 
and then we do need to save an energy so I'm going to say I've only got one bench spot that's tough because then I can't use my Eldegoss I think we're gonna save one of these energies the fighting energy yo thanks so much Ash and Tom thank you Tom for the bits thank you Ash for the prime sub appreciate you Tom and Ash thank you guys very much all right so we'll data change now and we do need to find that boss's order sure enough there it is perfect so we're going to stack an energy I can attach an energy stack an energy right so we're gonna go there a primate wisdom and energy on top and this is exactly the reason I was talking about I've been kind of saying it over and over again that I think Dedenne is really good in this deck you really don't want to you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you don't have that option to day-day change there like why would you do that to yourself in my opinion like why would you do that I think just the inclusion of Dedenne makes it so that you can pull out of stamps you can pull out of you know Marnie's things like that you're gonna be so much more responsive and you've seen that the deck is consistent and kind of low maintenance enough all right, so the big charm is going to keep us out of game here. So this is tough. I do need to find that game-winning boss's orders, or I need to find us. I need to find us that that big charm. Yikes. Yep, is going to do it. So I need to find us either the game-winning boss's orders, and sure enough, we've got our second to Dene. So good. So all we have to do, we can attach the recycle energy, day day change. I believe and there should be my third boss's orders in the deck and we get to dig a decent amount of cards in order to to find it all right so yep let's just data change yo thank you so much Jake for the hundred bits and sure enough there is the game winning boss so we go boss boss game I do think that this is a deck that could very well benefit from a fourth boss's orders because a lot of your games are going to end just like that you're going to take that first knockout on a big pokemon while you tank some hits and then boss boss game baby and the Dedenes won us that game so that was a big one big win for colossal all right cool going second got a nice opening hand let's see what we can do playing against something with a caldeo gx in it inteleon all right Inteleon, Frostmoth with Caldeo. This should be an interesting matchup, I think. I'm going to just Marnie kick things off. And so let's see. We find a Rangaroo. Nice. Just want to Primate Wisdom the research. So off of a, a Marnie, I'm guaranteed something there. Now they might get an Inteleon VMAX and kick this energy back to my hand. Yeah, it's looking like you two are playing a good deck, I see. Indeed. And we are going to get Marnied. And let's see, we find Boss and another Stone energy. It's cool. We do need to find ourselves a VMAX, and it looks like they are going to be able to kick this energy back to my hand, which is very annoying because we really want to keep this energy here and I have a research with like three energy in my hand and I don't want to have to get rid of them. And I do wonder if this particular deck plays Frostmoth. I mean, it might not. It might just play, all right, sure. Goodbye, stone energy. Well, I'm glad that decision got made for me. It looks like they do play Frostmoth. They got Training Court too. I always thought that that was a little funny to play a Hammer deck that also plays Training Court because, you know, you're removing your opponent's energy, but then you're giving it to them back. All right, 60 damage on my Cole. I don't like that, frankly. Um. Yeah, let's just let's just go to town. Let's just go here. Primate Wisdom. Boss Nam here. Eruption shot. Sick. Cool. 
You know, just do that. Make sure that they don't do any big attacks next turn. If they want to bounce an energy back, they can. It's fine. I'll just attach it again and go in and eruption shot. So I do like that. You know, I do like that we accelerate to ourselves. It's obviously very good against a deck like Inteleon. So we love that. Keeping the Frost Moth out of play gives me one more turn to kind of build up our board state, which is solid. Now, this is an awkward four card hand. So we are hoping to maybe get into some better cards in this uh, upcoming turn. I do have the Eruption Shot. They have a Hydro Snipe. So if they deal 160 next turn, they still don't knock me out. And we find a Quick Ball. Sweet. So I think we go here, we go here, we go here. Get ourselves a Crobat. Go Energy here, here. Crobat guaranteed to Primate Wisdom. Cool. I think... We don't find Hammer, but that's fine. Quick Ball here, get ourselves. Could just knock out the Snom again, It'd be kind of hilarious. You know, I have Eldegoss, so I can just boss knock out Snom. And then if my opponent starts swinging in with Inteleon, that or I go for two prizes, right? Going for two prizes certainly has its merits. Then all I have to do is knock out Inteleon and we win. So I think that that probably is our best play. So I think we just go here, get ourselves the boss back. Primate Wisdom, the Stone Energy. And then we're going to just boss up Crobat, Eruption Shot, yeah. Take that thing out, and then we have three prizes left. So we anticipate the, the Inteleon's going to come up and swing for like 160. Um, you know, minus 40, so 120. And then I do have Hyper Potions in the deck. So the Hyper Potions would be big. If we can actually hit one of those... Maybe keep the Colossal out of harm's way. Yo, what's up, Andrew? How we doing? Good. We vibing today. Most definitely. But yeah, it's just going to be a max bullet. So it's going to be a max bullet for... And they're heading for my Oranguru. That makes sense. 240. Now, I've got literally all the energy in the world in my hand, so I don't love that. Crushing Hammer is a broken card. That's cool. Uh, I can't attach the energy. I think we want to save at least one of these. So I think we're going to attach here in Primate Wisdom, and then I'm trusting that I draw into a second Oranguru. Hit, an hit another one. Insane deck, chat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hammer's a goaded card. All right, so here we go. All right, yeah, I know. I should not have Primate Wisdom because I can just, I could have just training corded the energy back. That was that was a huge misplay on my part. Huge misplay. So let's see. Because I already know, yeah, I discarded one Orangaroo, so I didn't find a Quick Ball or a Communication. And then. We can't stack the energy. I can't data change and stack the energy. We just didn't draw into very good cards off this. I thought I was going to draw into, like, insane cards, and we did not. I thought maybe I'd find a Pokemon communication, truthfully. So we either go in for the blind. We'll bring, a train, we'll bring an energy back. We're either going in for the blind. Eruption shot. But is it even worth doing that? I have three prizes remaining. 40 damage here isn't going to do us anything. 
fine. I actually think that data changing might be. Well, this data. I could find a hyper potion. That wouldn't really do anything either. I think I'm just going to pass. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. So we're just chilling here. Yo, thanks so much, Manderson, for that prime sub. Appreciate it, Manderson. Now, 60 damage here to the bench doesn't, you know, take a knockout even if they max. That's fine. And then I'm just thinking we go in with G Max Boulder next turn, guaranteed. That's kind of the thought process. They're just going to boss up my Orangru. It's cool. We've got another Orangru, and I don't really care now because I'm just going to G Max Boulder, which was the plan all along. So I'll promote that. We've got our fourth energy drop here, and we've got a boss. So I could boss up. I actually like this play a lot because I've got one more boss in my deck too. So we just boss up, KO the Frost Moth, guarantee that they cannot do anything this next turn. We're training court again. Retreat. And then, yeah, we're just going to G Max Boulder. Seems fine. And then they're stuck at just one energy. They didn't accelerate any energy last turn. We've got ourselves a backup Colossal, which is sick. And then we just evolve energy down on the Colossal. Data change next turn. Go for the game winning boss's orders. We do have another boss in the deck, which would be pretty gnarly. But hammers have been absolutely go to this game, uh, as they have been the whole stream so far. The hammers have just been carrying, carrying, carrying. And I think that it's exactly what this deck wants. This deck wants as many turns as possible, right? to be able to concoct its win condition. Hydro Snipe here, not quite going to be enough. My opponent's only taking one prize. They can bounce the stone energy back. That's not a problem. We've got research. Cool. I think we just go here. Put the stone energy down. Day Day Change, go for game-winning boss. I guess they could theoretically take five prizes if I Day Day Change, so let's not do that, right? Nah, don't don't be bad, Andrew. For sure, don't be bad. Because we put that down, they could, yeah, it could get ugly. All right, go for the hammer. No. Okay, we've got hyper potion. Don't want to play it. We've got chaotic swell. I want a training court. Bring that back first. Okay. Do I actually even want to chaotic swell? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we just want to swing because I want to keep the energies. So we just go here. I want to keep the potential for energy for next turn. So we just G-Max Boulder. Swing for a ton of damage. And then if they hit with this thing again, then... But yeah, if I had put down a Dedenny, then I guess if somehow they had removed stone energies and they did plus 60 damage to the bench... It still actually wouldn't have, but I guess theoretically, if they zigzagoon, you know, hammer, the, the Dedenne opened up, I think, opened me up to a higher risk of being able to lose the game that I didn't need to be at. So, you know, with this, we do expect them to swing. Now, if they swing with the active, all I have to do is hit with Colossal, but I need to be able to stack an energy. So we are going to need our third Orangaroo off of this research. We do have one Quick Ball left in deck and three Pokemon Communications. However, so that's why we're keeping the Training Court because that way I can guarantee myself an energy from the discard pile. They have to Max Bullet. They have to soften up a Crobat, right? Or Eldegoss. And then we're going to research and all I have to do is swing. So here we go. We need to find that Orangaroo, and it'll be GG's. All right, we've got Surfetched. It's not quite going to do it. Energy Research. That's it. Need to find Orangaroo, and it's game. We got Pokemon Communication, so long as the Orangaroo is not prized. And there it is. Three Orangaroo coming in clutch. We've got the Primate Wisdom, the Energy. And that is going to be GG's Quick Ball on top of the deck. Would have also gotten us the Orangaroo and Eruption Shot, and that's it.
GG's, Scraggy Trainer. GG's. Yo, boss to deck. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday starting at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Y'all take it easy and have a busted day. Peace.